Welcome to C Programming Tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel um, yet, I would suggest that you do so. This way you will be able to be notified uh, as soon as I post any new tutorials. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn about um, uh, how to pass two-dimensional arrays into functions. Okay. Um, in the previous tutorials, we learned about the two-dimensional arrays. Uh, today, we will see how we can pass them to the functions so that we can uh, do some operations on them. So, let's get started. So, we learned before that we actually could define a two-dimensional array using something like this. Okay. Um, <coughs> int uh, which would be the type of each element in the in that array um, int uh, followed by the name of the array which uh, uh, you could you could name whatever you want let's say we call it my array and then you specify the number of rows it has and then you specify the number of columns it has let's say it has four columns and three rows and we also learned that we could initialize <coughs> it uh, like something like this you don't have to initialize it you could actually ask the user to input the values but to make things uh, fast we will just go ahead and initialize this array with some values okay <coughs> there you go so we have declared a, an array and we have initialized its value now let's say we want to add all the elements in this array in this two-dimensional array uh, how can we do that um, one thing obviously would be to basically run two nested loops right here and just um, you know visit each element and keep adding but we want to learn how to pass the array to function so let's let's say we write a function that will take this array we pass this array to that function and it gives us back the sum of all these elements okay so let's see <clears throat> it should let's write the call that's the beauty of the function you don't even have to write the function itself before you start using it okay of course you have to you you have to eventually de define the function itself but um, you could definitely just you know imagine that that function has already been defined let's call it call it add and then you pass it the array and it gives you back it gives you back the sum of all uh, all the elements here okay and then we just print out the sum oops sorry we need to print out the sum which is stored in result so now remember see this is this is this is the cool thing about f writing functions or using functions uh, we just we we have to write this uh, program which would basically uh, add the all the elements in this uh, array all we did was declare an array you know um, define basically all the elements uh, the values of all the elements and then we just imagine that there is a function that takes this array and it actually you know we call that function and it will give me back the sum so my main program is done my main function is done at this point the only thing remaining is a subtask now how to define this function so this is how you you should always uh, pr do your programming you should always define functions and ju just start using them uh, you should always start using the functions first uh, and not worry about the definition of those functions just um, just define them clearly that what they take as input and what they return and that's it so this is called prototyping so what let's 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 write down how this the prototype or the header of the function is going to look like so obviously we know that the return value of this function would be an integer because all the elements are integer the sum of all the integers would be integer so let's write the int as the return value and then the na name of the function and then the parameter okay now this is the dummy parameter so we have to uh, we have to uh, you know uh, declare its type and stuff 
So just the way we declared this array here, we could declare this parameter, dummy parameter, just the same way. Okay, three, four. This is how you. This is how you pass an array, and this is how you define a prototype that takes the array as the parameter. So all you have to do, just like you define, we define the array right here or the declare the array right, right inside the function we basically declare the parameter the same way one difference is that you don't have to specify both dimensions you could just specify only the second dimension the number of elements in the second dimension if you remember we learned when we learned about the single dimensional arrays one dimensional arrays we said that this is how you could pass the one dimensional array okay but for two dimensional array you have to specify the second uh, number of elements in the second dimension which is columns so total number of columns you have to specify and in general if there are like three dimensional arrays if you're third dimension you have to specify the third number of uh, elements in the third dimension right here okay you could basically in short in short uh, you could actually skip only the first element uh, first dimension but for all the other dimensions you have to specify that because this is how compiler is able to locate individual elements inside this array otherwise it won't be able to locate that so let's uh, write the func write the function so first of all we will have to declare the sum where we were going to store the sum in okay the variable that stores that's going to get the sum so uh, let's initialize it to zero and then we um, we have to have we have to visit all the elements so we have to declare row and column as the loop counter variable and then we we saw in our last tutorial that whenever we have to um, go through all the elements in a two dimensional array we have to use nested loops right so we do the nested loops right like this less than four column plus plus and then we add the individual elements so whichever element we are we are in we just add that into sum and then store that value into sum as well so as we said before this is the same statement as writing something like this so take the current value of sum add the this element into it and then store it back into sum so that we can use this new value of sum in the next iteration okay and since we have only one statement after this for loop and one statement after this for loop we don't really have to put the braces it's always a good idea to do that but you know you don't have to now after we are done with it at this point we have the sum of all the elements in the variable sum so we return that sum so this completes our our this uh, function the definition of the function add at this point okay so together these two functions actually do what we wanted it to do the sum of display the sum of all these elements so let's see if it works okay error compilation error it says expected semicolon before dot token uh, colon token so I by accident I wrote colon instead of semicolon that's not right and here we go we ran this program and it says sum is equal to 78 mm, looks right to me the sum should be somebody about 78 right so so this is how you actually pass the parameter uh, pass two-dimensional array to a function as a parameter I hope you uh, like this tutorial if you did please give a thumbs up and if you didn't please give a thumbs down and send me some comments in on this YouTube page or 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 maybe on on the Facebook page. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, man.